Hello everybody. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's take a walk and go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Odd 13 Brewing. And these guys are in Colorado. This is their Hop Wizard. Uh, which is a pale ale. Uh, and we've got... The ABV is all over the place on, on this, according to what site you're looking at. Uh, beer Advocate has it listed as 6%. Untapped has it listed at 5.5%. The can I have here in front of me that was sent to me by Jeff. Thanks a bunch, Jeff. I do appreciate it. It's got 5.75. So we got three different ABVs. And I don't know how, how often or how long they've been doing this particular version. But we got three different ABVs. So maybe they've done it three different times. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, from what I'm seeing on Untapped. They're saying, their commercial description, uh, and I don't have the IBUs here listed uh, on either site, uh, but their commercial description on Untapped says, Hop Wizard is a New England style pale ale. New England style, so that goes me to believe it's a juice bomb. And I wasn't aware they would be doing juice bombs for multiple years. I was just introduced to that over the last six months. So, uh, uh, wasn't, wasn't aware they were doing them that long ago, so maybe they be, these guys have been doing this and it's been a juice bomb the whole time. I don't know. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not out in uh, in Colorado, uh, uh, and I would be very surprised uh, uh, that they were doing a New England style that far back out there. Now maybe some of the New England brewers have been doing it that long, but. I don't know. I'm just guessing here, guys. But we got three different ABVs. I'm going with what's on the can. And I have 5.75 written on the can here. And the date on this is uh, July the 10th of 2017. And today is the 28th. That's just a tad over two weeks old. So it should still be very, very tasty. Uh, I just got this this week from, uh, from Jeff and I wanted to do it pretty fresh. So let's get on with it. Uh, uh, untapped says Hop Wizard New England style featuring HS07270 hop, which is an experimental hop, Citra, Azica, and Mosaic hops. Tropical flavors and aromas are dominant, primarily reminiscent of the lemon zest, uh, mango, and papaya. Oats and rye contribute to a rich mouthfeel and body that complements the hop character. And fruity esters from the yeast strain add notes of peach. So, sounds very yummy. Yummy, yummy. Uh, I would like to know what the IBUs are since it is a pale ale. Uh, sometimes these things are really low down in the 30s and 40s. And sometimes the pales can be up in the 60s and 70s, which is more typical of an IPA. So, I don't know what it is and it doesn't tell us and I can't find it. So, I didn't go to their site uh, to look it up. But, you shouldn't have to. Anyway. Well, that's all we need to talk about, so let's get this bad boy open and pop the top here and get it into the glass. And while I'm doing this, oh yes, it looks like a juice bomb coming out of the can. Cuisine is Pan Asian, cheese of the earthy Camembert Fontina. Your nutty cheeses, Asiago Colby Parmesan Tangy, Brick Adam Feta. Meat is poultry, glass fire is pipe backer, non tumbler mug, side side dale. I'm using my favorite tulip glass today, the Sovereign Beer Glass. And it says here, not recommended for semi celery because I'm sure it's going to be a hop-forward pale ale and you want to drink it fresh. So, 
Well, almost a finger of head on that pour. Uh, and it looks like orange juice. It's a little bit darker than, than a bright orange juice color. But it is very cloudy. It does look like a, a, an unfiltered New England style beer. Looks like a juice bomb. Let's get a nose to it. Super citrusy, guys. Hints of grapefruit. I am getting some mango and some maybe some papaya, like it said. Feels very, very tropical. Feels very juicy. Smells delicious. <laughs> Let's dive in. First beer of the day for me. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeff. Very pleasant pale out. A lot of these breweries are, are doing these juice bombs in the pale ale variety with a little bit lower uh, IBUs. So not to offend or blow your palate out of your mouth if you're not liking IPAs because of the bitterness. Something with a little less bitterness. And it does have a very nice mouth feel with the... Uh, the uh, oats and the rye that they've used. I am getting an old hint of some spice, the rye spiciness in there, but it's not bad. It's not off-putting or anything. It doesn't uh, it doesn't overpower or, or uh, detract from the juicy tropical fruit notes from it. So very nice. Well, let's right out of the freezer and let her taste it and sip on it for a while, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Been sipping on about 30 minutes. Very tasty, pale. Low, low IBUs, uh, very easy drinking, alcohol is super well hidden, a lot of juicy tropical fruit notes, uh, very delicious, probably probably be in my top 10 in the pale ales for a hot forward pale, especially being a juice bomb or a New England style on top of that, very, very nice beer, I enjoyed this, uh, I would buy this if I could get it here. Very tasty. It is a very tasty beer. These juice bombs are awesome in my opinion. I love them. Final chug. Super easy drinking. You can drink this for breakfast. It's so easy drinking. Delicious. Uh, 9 out of 10 for me on this one guys. ABV is on there. The Candon date is on there. It doesn't have the IBUs. I wish they would put that on there, especially for a pale ale or an IPA ale. So you give you a reference point there of what the bitterness is going to be. But 2 out of 3 ain't too bad, I guess. I enjoyed this. So, Jeff, once again, thank you, my brother. I do appreciate you sending me the I 13 beers. Uh, they were very, very tasty. Seemed like they got it going on there, there at that brewery and uh, figured, figured out how to make an excellent world class beer. So, uh, like I said, 9 out of 10 for me, guys. I'm going to give it a 95 right down the middle of the A category. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 86. It's way better than an 86, guys. So I don't know what these guys don't like about it. Uh, and final check-in, Untapped has it at 4.17, which is in their A category also. Uh, so, it's, it's an A beer, no matter what the guys at Beer Advocate are, are are putting on it. Uh, there are people that will buy this beer and, and don't like this style of beer or a hot forward beer or whatever the case may be and give it a lower grade than it should have and then they average those out and that brings those scores down. So uh, if you don't like a New England style beer or if you don't like a juice bomb or you don't like an unfiltered beer, don't buy it. Uh, it just, it, it, it leads the grade, the overall grade for these beers to be lower than it should be, in my opinion. This is my opinion, though. So, uh, if you've had this one from Lot 13 Brewing, this is their Hop Wizard. Let me know what you think, guys. I thought it was very tasty. And until we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.